everyone, I'm Noreen and welcome to my kitchen and another installment of the holidays are coming. Today I'm sharing my absolutely apple pie and baking spice blend. This is similar to our pumpkin spice blend, but it has a little bit of stuff that's changed up in it. It's just the perfect spice blend for your apple pie. So let's go see how this all comes together. All right, we're gonna get started going over all of the spices that go into our absolutely apple pie and baking spice blend. And this is simple and delicious and it has something a little different in it. You may or may not have on your spice rack, but if you don't, I highly recommend you pick some up because it really elevates your apple pie spice to the next level. What you're gonna start off with is four tablespoons or one quarter cup of ground cinnamon. Then you're gonna move over here and you're gonna do one tablespoon of allspice, two teaspoons of nutmeg, one teaspoon of ground cardamom, and one teaspoon of ground clove. That's it, super, super simple. Just like always, we're gonna take our parchment paper very carefully. I looks like I went way out to the edge here. And we're just going to slide all of these right into an awaiting jar. And these are half cup jars. These are half the size of a jelly jar. So you, you are getting a full half cup of this spice blend, which is way more than what you're gonna get if you buy one of those tiny little jars, which I think are like, they may only be an ounce or two. And expensive. And, and very expensive, especially this time of year. They know that you want it, and so they're gonna charge you thusly. Just give your jar a good shake. And there you have absolutely apple pie and baking spice blend. This is great this time of year. You can use this in a lot of things. You can use if if something calls for cinnamon, nutmeg, clove, you can just use this. And you can just add a scoop of this in there and, and go for it because you've got a nice even blend. The cardamom and it lends a little bit of a citrusy note to it if you're not familiar with cardamom. It's, it's in a lot of Scandinavian um, recipes, especially around Christmas time. They almost always put it in their bread recipes like Christmas stolen and things like that. Um, it just lends a brightness and a little bit of a citrusy note that other spices really can't lend to a baked good, especially a sweet one. I wanna thank you for joining me today so I could show you how I put this together. This spice blend is also featured in the Molly Green Magazine it, uh, for their winter edition that's coming up. If you're not familiar with Molly Green, I'll leave a link down below to their website and you can go check them out and see what they're all about. So if you enjoyed today's video, please consider giving me a thumbs up and if you're not already, please hit that red subscribe button so you don't miss out on all the real food for real people, real easy recipes that we present all the time right here on our YouTube channel and straight from our kitchen. I hope you give this absolutely apple pie and baking spice blend a try, and I hope you love it. And until next time, happy holidays. Okay, now we're just gonna go ahead and put some of this apple filling. You don't need a lot. right on in there on each wedge. Now, you may have extra dough, okay? So if you do, you can fill it with jam, you could fill it with 